Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to an episode of the Ruby from Scratch series. So in this episode right here, we're going to be talking about symbols. So I already used symbols before in the previous episode when we talked about hashes. In this episode right here, we're going to go in a little bit of detail and go a little bit deeper into what they are and when you should use them. So symbols look something like this. So something equals something. So they're usually, you know, prefixed with a colon. Uh, and, and then that's that's what you do. You get a symbol. So now if I do, um, let's say something dot class, whoops, something dot class, you get a symbol. So uh, you can create symbols in many ways. Prefix it with the colon is one way. You can even have something like, let's say for example, a name, and then let's say Zach. Uh, and then now what we can do is something like uh, my symbol equals, um, we can prefix it with a symbol and then we have a string literal and we put in the name over here. And now what we're going to get is Zach like that. Uh, so what's the difference between strings and symbols? Uh, so strings and symbols are different in the respect that symbols are immutable. Once they're created, they cannot be modified. Um, so if you look at the documentation for symbols on the Ruby doc, which I'll link to in the description below, you'll see that there's not that much you can do. You can convert things to and from symbols um, and check the size and you know a few other things, but that's about it because they're immutable. So strings are uh, mutable, which means they can be modified, they can be changed. And another thing I want to point out is that, let's say you create two variables, right? and you have a variable with the same string and you have a variable with the same symbol, um, in Ruby, it will always reference the same object uh, if it's a symbol. But if it's a string, it will always create a new instance. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so let's go ahead and create two names. So name equals Zach and name two equals Zach. So these two are exactly the same uh, strings, but they're two different objects in Ruby, uh, which means Ruby had to create a new uh, object in memory for us. So let me prove that to you. So name dot object ID. So now we see this ID of the object of name, right? So now I have name two dot object ID. So you'll see, even though they're the same string, it's Ruby created a new instance of that string because strings are meant to be mutable. They're meant to be changed and updated and you know, all that stuff. But symbols, on the other hand, um, you know, are immutable, which means Ruby will always reference the same object if it's already been created, if it's a symbol. So for example, let me show you my sim equals uh, sim, uh, let's say Zach. And now my sim, two equals Zach as well. So now I'm going to do my sim dot object ID. You see that it gives us this object ID over here. Uh, now if I do my sim two dot object ID, you see that the, the ID of the objects are exactly the same. That's because um, symbols are immutable. They cannot be changed. Uh, which means you know symbols are good for do, like using for things that don't change like name of attributes or something like that. But if you have a value that should be able to change and passed around and moved around and modified like names of people or names of products or name, they should be uh, strings uh, and not symbols. But if you are referencing something that does not change like something in your code uh, that you want to reference later on, um, you can use something like symbols to serve that purpose. So uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, that's uh, symbols for you. So now you kind of know uh, when to use symbols and when to use strings. Uh, and so with that, I want to wrap up, wrap up this episode. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also check out our site for more Ruby content and Rails content and become a member for $9 a month. Uh, and with that, I want to wrap up this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.